And we are back with another episode of Ben Rowland playing the Old Republic. Uh, we ended our last episode a little prematurely. The recording software decided to uh, stop rather than just whatever. So we'll just start with a new episode. And we are here after running into a Twi'lek with force powers who apparently has been corrupted by the dark side. Padawan, I just spoke to Rana Dalven, the daughter of Kalikori Village's matriarch, concerning your visit there. I want you to meditate on what you learned. Such experiences are what shape us as Jedi. Yes, Master. We should check that Rajivari's hologram is safe. The holoprojector was stolen by a Twi'lek, Nalan Ralak. He learned Force techniques from Rajivari's hologram. He was obviously unstable. A villager? Very unusual. Then this Nalan is force sensitive. Let's see what he saw. Activation protocol begins. A few words. Shall this be all my legacy? No. My enemies are long dead. It is time. Hear me. I have left true wisdom behind. For those who follow where the first blade points, from the sanctuary of the Order, all else is fleeting. My word, true wisdom. Padawan, he, he's talking about the fount of Rajivari. Master, you seem shaken. I, I'm fine. This is just hard to believe. After Rajivari fell, sources claimed he created a great archive of his knowledge and teachings. The fount of Rajivari. Generations of Jedi search for it, finding nothing. The founts considered a hoax by all reputable scholars, but we just heard proof. It said to follow where the first blade points, from the Sanctuary of the Order. What sanctuary? Kaleth! The ruins at Kaleth. The name means Sanctum. It's the remains of an ancient fortress. Evidence suggests Kaleth was destroyed in a great battle. Old droids still walk those ruins today, but this first blade is a puzzle. I can only think of one blade a Jedi would wield. Good deduction, but lightsabers had yet to be invented. We have found several old weapons in one section of Kaleth. Nothing like a first blade, but a good place to begin. Ah, I planned your training so carefully, but the Force has intervened. Finding the Fount of Rajivari and stopping Nalan must be a greater test. Are you saying the Force is guiding me? Sometimes the Force, not the Master, shapes a Padawan's trials. This seems to be such a time. You should know, Padawan. The Council tends to disapprove of such training, but I'll explain everything to them. For now, focus on exploring Kaleth for this first blade. Call me on your holocommunicator at once if you have any success. Alright, so this Rajavari person was, uh... Apparently the first Jedi to ever fall to the dark side. So we need to uh, discover what uh, information he left behind. Or else he might uh, have left just enough behind to corrupt many a person. Someone already has their uh, tranny companion, which is the first companion for the consular. And we will need to head off. So while I start running, you know what happens next. And we have a couple of quests taking us towards Kaleth. I seem to be cursed. Well, why do I always get the pupils who think they're the exceptions to the rule? Master Silvarte, it's true that our Padawans are acting a bit strangely. But I don't think there's cause for concern. Wait, I have an idea. You, Padawan, I know you. Is there anything I can do to help? Indeed, I have heard good things about you. I'm hoping they weren't overblown. Master Silvarte is concerned about a couple of our Padawans. He suspects that they are, well... If I'm correct, they are following their passions down a dark path. I certainly understand your concern. 
In all other aspects, these two are model pupils, but I agree we would be remiss if we didn't do what we can to settle the issue. They may be more open and revealing with a student like you. We need you to confront them and discover if they are indeed cultivating a romance. I'm basically to become a glorified snoop, then? You're helping the Order root out the seeds of darkness. There's no task more important. Their names are Morrison and Spanios. As we speak, they are in the ruins of Lower Caleth. So go, talk with them, and report back what you discover about the relationship. Try not to alert or alarm them. If they are in love, they are sure to be volatile. Funny, this, uh... Seemed to be one of those things that led Anakin dar down a dark path. Of course, it was one of the light things that led him down a dark path. As opposed to what actually did it to him. But anyway. You're Master Yuan's apprentice, right? I've heard how strong you are in the Force. I'm Fia. Padawan Fia. Still have to get used to having a title. I've just started learning about the Force. I've got a long way to go before I'm as good as you. Stay open to possibilities, Padawan. You might surprise yourself. I've certainly had plenty of surprises lately. I still can't believe I'm here. Just last week, I was crowing a garbage scow on Rax's Prime. Then this scary-looking Jedi shows up out of nowhere and says that he can sense the Force in me. What are the odds? There's no such thing as luck, Padawan. You're meant to be here. That's exactly what the Jedi who found me said. Say, do you know Master Tillin? He's the one who discovered me. I'm trying to get a message to him. Master Tillin is studying a big mystery in Kaleth's ruins. Something about ancient droids attacking people? If you're headed to the ruins, would you give him this holo recording from me? I'd be so grateful. I can take care of that. Terrific. I can see why everybody here is so impressed with you. Here's the holo recording. Master Tillin has a small camp outside the ruins of Kaleth. Thanks for doing this. All right. Looking for two Padawans in love, and working for some stalker chick. Uh, okay. So we are heading towards the ruins of Kaleth. There's a small base camp just outside of it. Which we will probably hit first, and hello my friends. How are you doing? And we have a new ability. Basically just pacifies him for a second. And then we'll just smack him in the face with a rock. Something tells me I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. However, there is a long uh, pull down on the force lift. So I won't have as much fun as I would like to with it, but uh, we'll still have fun with it. Alright, heading to the base camp, which is right here, so never mind the uh, editing. Unless you want to see me teleport from the bottom of the stairs to the top of the stairs. As you can see, not much has transpired. Of course, grabbing the fine point, A. Hey. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Thank you, annoying droid. And... Stalker chick. Susan Neko Higa Danoila. Someone asked me to deliver a message. What a me, Chispa? Ki trita nimni tanuv. Kapola kupi de opra. Anquas nimna matasunri. Chobod yi kafu anchawa. Chop ting wampa la hagwa doi biska. It's cloaked in mystery. Uka ubizi ki dan. Oi grani tampio du me donki. Cha kulka du magi tahus hagwa upa. Krispa doi kanki kumke gupa. 
do batadi moa atima. Are you saying the Jedi's ancestors built this? Wonka tuske uana wa. Ki mada tanta chiruli ya? Noe ayu ya ti ya chavopa. Tinka duana che mai chuba. Hachuna, quabo nuta dubita. Why not simply wipe out all the droids? Mokele ma klonki niatan bompa bo shuda. Ji wom ta humpa muli ra wata wompa. Kyo topa bu banda baka wanki. Ne umpi bedwana ni bobo chopa uma. Ne umpi bedwana ni bobo chopa uma. Dwara wanki wabda ya tuga loka. Kili wata bunki donko patoga loda. I take it you're seeking my services. Kili wata bunki donko patoga loda. Maklunki ni at ambompa boshuda. Yeliska chanaga bumpa komchinka. Wonka tuske uana wa. Zuza neko higa da noila. Tu chananga e ma chai. Yunaliska chananga wachi kospa ini kontinka. Okay, now that we're finally done listening to that guy, we can continue on our path. I bet you thought I was going to do it again, didn't you? And head off towards Kaleth. And here we are with the two lovebirds. You found it! Well done, Morrison! Oh, Spanios. I couldn't have done it without you. You're amazing. I don't care what the Masters say, we're proving everyone wrong. Come here and give me a kiss. Go ahead. Plant one on him. I would, he's cute. Who are you? This isn't what you think it is. I think you two are romantically involved. Okay, maybe it is what you think it is. Spanios. I'm sorry, my love, but I'm sick of hiding. The Order is wrong. Fear, not emotion, is the adversary of the Jedi way. Ironically, the Masters fear emotion, and therefore, they deny us its bounty. The power of our love is why we work so well together. Our teamwork allowed us to find this rare lightsaber crystal. So our passion actually strengthens the Order. I have to disagree. Spanius, please help me convince this upstart not to expose us. I love you, Morrison. And so if you believe we must remain hidden, I honor that. But it may take a sacrifice. You mean the crystal? I agree, my love. Friend, if you tell the Masters we're not romantically involved, we'll give you this powerful crystal for your future lightsaber. Would that buy your silence? Bribery, Spanius? You're only proving the Jedi Code right. Your fall is upon us. No! I cannot let you go! Morrison, stop. Do not succumb to anger. She must be true to her own beliefs. Just go, friend. Do what you will. All right. I guess we will do what we will. And what we will is destroy droids. And there you. And just break it right away. Nice little bug for you. Let's see, the elites don't count, so scanny scanny. And oh, he despawned. Damn it! All right, some more to kill. Grab right back. 
Alright, so let's see here. I need to inspect a stone carving. Show respect. You stand before greatness. The first blade, I guard. It rests with the ashes of its maker, the Weapon Master. I must take the first blade. The Jedi have need of it again. The first blade. First Jedi weapon. From this beginning, lightsabers came. Millennia pass. Only hilt of first blade remains. Only disturbed once. Rajabari came. He proved worthy. Permitted to take the hilt. Later, returned it. Perhaps I could do as Rajavari did. To take the hilt, prove worthy. The philosophy of Jedi combat. Show understanding. The Weapon Master left challenges. Here in Kalef. Training droids to test his students. Find them. Prevail. The hilt of the first blade waits. Okay. I need to destroy a couple more droids here, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Do I need any more scans? I don't think so. Alright. So now I need to activate and destroy combat training droids. And they are... Right here. So how do I activate training droids? So I have a mission item? Nope. Hmm. Uh, uh, of course, now there's no droids here. Let me hunt around for a second. Haha, <laughs> so these uh, little tombstone looking things are the combat droid activator. As you can see, a little difficult, but not uh, life-threatening, but we'll power up just in case. Lift them up just because it's funny, and boom. And that's two down. So we only have one more to go. And look, we can already activate this one again. Make sure we have full everything. And go. And just like that, we're already done. Alright, so I'm going to head back and turn in these quests. So, be right back. Alright, so apparently we had to come back to the stone carving. And let's see if we talk to the droid again. Telemetry is received. All droids report your battle performance satisfactory. 
In that case, I wish to take the hilt of the first blade from here. Take the hilt. Treat with respect. Fight with honor. Master Yuan, I've found the hilt of the first blade. A proto-lightsaber from someone called the Weapon Master. The hilt looks as if there's data engraved on it. Of course. The first blade points the way. Rajivari made the legendary weapon itself our guide. The Force is certainly with you, Padawan. Please bring the hilt back to the temple at once. I will look into a way to access that data. Alright, now it's time to run back to places and turn in quests and stuff, so let's do that. Creepy guy. Cha kulka du magi, tahus hagwa upa. Oi grani tampio du me donkey. Wata botenya nucha nubota. Kitrita nimni tanuv. Kapola kupi de opra. Anquas nimna mata sunri. Wonka tuske uana wa. Zuza neko higa da noila. Tu chananga e ma chai. That's simply fascinating. Grula waska kwa bobana. Chichawa una chichitua. Vifa karibu uta chuba na ganga. Krispa doe kanki kunke gupa. Do bataji moa atima. What happens now? Pikai ianakuzu. Mana natu pachunki. Gokola ko panate yakna. Punyo blasto wonkiti ato konchi. Taiboka dunka wona wanga. All right, having dealt with this guy twice now, his language doesn't really seem to match up with anything as far as uh, translating it into actual English, so, eh, whatever. I'll let it go. And we'll move on to uh, turn in uh, the stupid uh, lover's quest. Now, of course, if you didn't pre-order the game, the stronger lightsaber crystal might actually sound worth it to you. But since, of course, I have pre-ordered and I get that uh, yellow and black lightsaber crystal, or just power crystal, I should say, because you can use it in blasters as well, don't really need it. Which is why I'm probably gonna end it the same way I did last time and say, yeah. Yeah, they're in love with each other. Hey, it's retaught Ed. Anyway. Were you successful, Padawan? Did you find our pupils in the ruins? Tell us, what did you uncover about the nature of Spanius and Morrison's relationship? Are they romantically involved? Your fears are justified, Masters. Spanius and Morrison are romantically involved. I knew it. As I said, Yolo, I'm cursed. It seems we're both cursed, my friend. They will have to renounce their love and agree to remain apart, or they will never become Jedi. What a waste. But you have done well, young one. I know it must not be pleasant scrutinizing your fellow Padawans. It was a difficult assignment. I didn't enjoy spying on my fellows. We are sorry. It was necessary. For your efforts in this matter, please... Take this as a token of commendation. 
and it's a token of commendation. I know. Surprising, isn't it? Alright, now I have to run back to the temple, so... I'll do it! By the way, if you caught what I typed... <laughs> Alright, and here's the story quest. Hello again, Padawan. I'm glad to see you well. Master Seal Bacard, I was there to greet you when you first arrived. Being greeted by a member of the Council is hard to forget, Master Seal. Interesting. Protocol was never a big focus of Yuan's curriculum. This is Master Jarek Caden, another of the Jedi Council. Yuan told us about Nalan Raylock, the pilgrim seeking Rajivari's secrets. She also claimed the Force is guiding your training. This isn't unknown, but... So the Force influencing a Padawan's training is quite rare. Yuan seems convinced, but trusting blindly in the Force isn't the Jedi way. Good judgment and discipline must temper that trust. First she welcomes that Trandoshan into the temple, now this? She's getting more unorthodox by the day. What do you make of Yuan's claim, Padawan? I trust in Master Yuan's wisdom. The Council has agreed to accept Yuan's opinion. For now. But I am concerned about the dangers this path is leading you through. Finding the Fount of Rajavari before Nalan Ralak does is important. But so is your safety, Padawan. Be mindful. Okay. And moving on. Hey, the train is back. Rajivari's hologram proves the same technique existed. Don't you see? It'll resolve that silly debate once and for all. Overexcite? I'm not quite ready to... Ah, Padawan. Much longer and we'd have come looking for you. I thought you might have crossed paths with Nalan Ralok again. Wherever Nalan is, he's not at Kaleth. You said you found the first blade, or its hilt at least. Is it? May I see it? Ah, the folds in the metal, the power cell chamber. These are lost techniques. Our lightsabers began here, with this. I believe these etch marks are encoded information, Master Yuan. And the interior's been modified too, perhaps to hold more. I deciphered a second clue from Rajivari's hologram. To find the Fount of Rajivari, this hilt must be taken to a cave in the Typhonian Mountains. The hologram says the Founders meditated in that cave. Debated. They became the Jedi Council. All our codes, our laws and principles can be traced back to those debates. <laughs> I apologize, Padawan. Kaizen's devotion to the hunt is quite single-minded. I don't mind. I welcome his help. Good luck and be careful. The hologram said nothing of what might be waiting in those caves. Uh, flesh Raiders are waiting in those caves. But, whatever. We'll run over there. And we will, uh, deal with it all. And many more things, actually, now that I think of it. But that will happen in the next episode. I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.